Hi, this is Trev. Welcome to my vlog. I've been sent in a tool to review this time round Banggood's mini rechargeable grinder. So let's find out. Is it going to be Banggood, Bang Bad, or indeed Bang Tidy? Let's unbox it. Find out. This is how the grinder came to me. It was in a postal bag as well. Looks like it's got a, an adapter for the charger. I'm guessing it's got a two pin plug on it. We've got some technical data on the back, so I'll just whiz through that before we get started. So performance, no load speed, 19,500 RPM. So it's pretty quick for something that's electric. Um, I mean, the air powered one I've got, the cutoff die grinder style is about 22,000, I think. Um, scrolling in spin, is there anything else we need to know? Basically, it takes a cut off wheel, battery power, 12 volts, 0.7 kilograms, excluding the battery, grinding a cutting diameter, 76 millimeters, surface grinding and roughing, noise, 76 dB. Sound power level, 86 dB. Well, whatever happens, you need to wear ear defenders anyway, don't you, if you're using any power at all. So let's get it out the box and see what we've got. Instruction manual. One rechargeable lithium ion battery. Two three inch cutoff wheels, one charger. Of course, well packed in here. I mean, this is quite a nice bit of protection. I suppose it didn't come in anything like it was double boxed or anything, so probably needs that. Well, it looks nice, doesn't it? It looks, it looks like it's quite well made. One Allen key here. So let's get it on charge. So we've got number two battery already plugged in so I'll get these batteries on charge we'll charge these up and then we'll see what we can do with this little beast I'm assuming that's a spindle lock jump straight in don't look at the instructions yeah that's a spindle lock so that's lock the spindle so that you can Put a disc on there. If you're going to fit the disc, type has come supplied with the machine. Then you need to mount the spindle metal reinforcement plate sticking up. That's the best way I've found anyway. And then just really tighten that down well on the top. And then that just presses that disc onto there for a real tight, snug fit. The spindle lock which is here you may just find that it's easier just to give the disc a little bit of a, a wiggle like that and then you can pull that out and then that locks the spindle in once it's tight you can then just simply press that back down like that and that releases the spindle lock and it's ready for action so once I'd recharged both of the batteries, which didn't seem to take very long at all, I set it its first challenge, which was to cut through some 8mm threaded bar. Now it did this pretty good actually, managed to cut through six pieces of threaded bar before it exhausted one of the batteries. Now one of the characteristics of this grinder is that it's very, very tiny and compact. And one of the cutting characteristics is you can very, very quickly overload the battery and it shuts off very quickly if you start applying pressure to the cutting disc against the workpiece. So that is one of the negative characteristics of this grinder. But what you've got to bear in mind is this battery pack is absolutely tiny. This whole thing fits in my hand. So it's not going to replace your mains powered angle grinder with the cutting disc on or your pneumatic cutoff tool that's got the power of a whole compressor behind it. But what this grinder has over these things of course is it's completely cordless, it's tiny and it can fit anywhere. So I thought to myself, where's the best place I could trial this? Um, 
the scrapyard. It's not a scrapyard though, we're, we're <laughs> eco people. Like, what? It's ecological, mate. I'm right? <laughs> doing it for Greta. I'm doing it for Greta. I'm an eco warrior. I am Dave Angel, eco warrior. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the man. Copper's my gate. Cable. I'm pulling cable. <laughs> Think about the environment. It's not for your children, it's for your children's children. It's a very serious issue. Global warming, the polar bears. Later. So as you can see, being absolutely tiny, this little grinder can get in anywhere. Far, far smaller than a standard rechargeable angle grinder that would take a 115mm cut off disc. This is far, far smaller than that. And indeed it can even get into places that is smaller than your hand and you'd be able to just cut through a little bracket or a bolt that would be in the way at the scrapyard where obviously you've got no power. And this is where I think that this tool really, really comes in to its own. Being a bodywork man, of course, I thought I'd give it a go at the scrapyard cutting out some bodywork. And after a bit of trial and error, I found the most effective way of using this grinder and to keep it going and get the longest cut without it overheating was to take intermittent goes, allowing the wheel to get fully back up to its full free running speed and then put the disc against the car, do a little bit of cutting then take it away again and this way it ensured that the grinder didn't overheat, it kept going and it was effective at cutting the bodywork away when you consider that I didn't have an extension lead and a big angle grinder and a big cutting disc. So it did actually remove that section, this is for a future project that I don't really want to talk about right now. Oh PM me hun. P and me. So in summing up, it's a bang tidy little rechargeable grinder that can get almost anywhere. No, it's not going to replace your mains powered angle grinder, it's not going to replace your pneumatic cut off saw, but what it is going to do is you're stuck down the scrapyard, there's that one bolt you can't get off and it's going to be a case of, say hello to my little friend, bruh, 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 bruh. So it's really good from that perspective. I'll put a link in the video description to the grinder, also to Banggood, check them out. I mean, if you put in anything, angle grinder, anything, impact gun, uh, the, the list goes on for as long as you can be bothered to read it for. They really do some serious amounts of equipment. So does this compare to anything else that's on the market? Well, Bosch do something that looks extremely, extremely similar to this. That comes in at 260 quid, I have watched a video of that grinder being used and the characteristics are extremely similar. This comes in at 50 odd pounds I think it is and occasionally they have discounts on this. Have seen it for as little as 44 pounds but just bear in mind when this video was made because you might be looking back at it next year and of course everything changes doesn't it? So anything else I can say? So I better say, just to keep the bedwetters happy, no, this isn't a paid promotion. I haven't been paid to promote this tool. They've simply given it to me free of charge so that I could use it to make a video for them, for their product and something for you guys to watch. Hopefully you've been slightly entertained by it. I recently set up an Instagram account so I could be as cool as the cool kids. There's a link in the video description so you can follow me on Instagram. I'm going to put the grinder, a picture of this grinder on there and all you've got to do is just comment, give me the grinder, I'll pick a winner at random and post it to you free of charge at my own expense. Uh, I'll do it in the next month, I'll give it away in a month's time so I'll give it a month to accrue some interest and then I'll give it to you free of charge, postage and all included. I can't say further than that can I? Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll see you soon. I'll say bye for now.